Good morning. Before you look at the length of this video and click away, let's get a few things straight. This is a, well, I'm not really sure what to call it. A vlog, a super vlog, a mega vlog, whatever. It's gonna be a long video, so if you don't feel those vibes, well, we'll see you later. But maybe you could give it a chance. Who knows, you might like it. First of all, let's back up. A few basic things. We are in Haiti. Our names are Paul and Luke, twin daily vloggers from Missouri. We are here to visit my brother Steven and his wife Anna who live here. They live at Grace Missions Barkman Center located in Limbe, Haiti. Our main purpose in going to Haiti was to make three videos for Grace Mission as well as a video for Steven and Anna, as well as to make this mega vlog. Between all those videos, the vlogging got put in the background a lot of the time so we didn't communicate everything that was happening, so my voice will be popping in from time to time to help you understand what we're learning and experiencing here in Haiti. What's up everybody, my name is Luke. And I'm Paul. We are in Haiti. <laughs> we're no, under a little bit of uh, a culture shock. Culture <laughs> shock right now. It's a little overwhelming, but that's okay. We're here right now in Steven and Anna's Abode. Um, yes. apartment. It's very spacious. I mean, just look at this place. There's a lot of things that Grace Mission does here at the compound, but one of the main things is that there's an orphanage. So the first thing we did was go around and introduce ourselves to the kids that were around. And hung out, did a little dancing, and uh, got to know them a little bit. I did a really good back handspring, I'd like to add. That's been like three months, so. That was a lead as a front hand. They call it a front rollover. No, you did it too. You did it. It's a video. I like to say anything. You can't say anything? What do you want to say? If you could say something to somebody all the way across the world, what would you say? Okay. What would you say? What would you say? Oh. This is Mikey, aka Bubbles. He is a special needs boy here at the orphanage. Anna provides most of his care with help from others on the compound. Little is known about Mikey, but due to his development, Anna suspects he's around 12 to 13 years old. The next day we headed back to Cape, the town we actually flew into. The roads are rough and this 20 mile drive is about two hours long. What are we doing today? I don't know what we're doing. Something with a container. <laughs> we're helping make sure they don't steal anything out of our container. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're not picking up the container. We are just literally making sure that they don't steal things out of it when they switch it to... They switch it to our container? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. They take it out of one and put it in the other so that they have to then, watch uh, the customs. This job that should have only taken us around an hour to an hour and a half took us pretty much all day. We started off by waiting around for the customs people to be ready, and then once they finally got to us, we had to wait around some more. It was just a lot of waiting due to lack of organization. That's our container. Right now we're waiting for um, customs to come and let us into this container. And once we have that, then we can load it from this container into this container, and then eventually they will bring it to the compound. It's kind of a mess, but it works out. One thing I forgot to mention is that we actually had to hire like several guys that this is just their job is to move stuff from one side to the other so we're not just having random guys help us but that's why we were watching for theft. After we finished up with that project we went over to a place called La Kai for lunch. It was really good. While we were there we noticed that Pastor Bernard and the Haitian pastor that was there translating for us um, was not feeling well. Well we stopped on the side of the road. Pastor's not feeling good so uh, I don't know where we're exactly where we're at, but we're along the side of the road. So we just got back. Pretty much Pastor got sick, so we had to take him to a hospital, and we had to wait around for a couple of hours, which was fine. Which was fine. Uh, but he's doing okay now. One of the one of the guys, Jacqueline, is going to stay with him tonight. Yeah. And the girls at the orphanage made us food, so we're going to eat some food. Yeah. Quick side note. This is Ray and his wife Bonnie. They are the founders of Grace Mission Orphanage over 10 years ago. Besides caring for the 30 orphanage kids, they also have adopted three Haitian children: Ricardo, Johnsy, and David. Tonight we were eating with Ray and Bonnie and their kids and the other missionaries, Mark and Christine, who are the other missionaries that live there on the compound. Mark works primarily with water purification through Water is Life. You may have heard of them. Their viral video is linked below. And his wife, Christine, has developed the school program here at the Grace Mission Academy. We read an article while we were there about how Haiti is probably the hardest place to live as a missionary um, long term. And Ray and Bonnie have been there over 10 years and may have something to do with those 30 kids that they care for or the three that they've adopted. Now it is nearly impossible to legally adopt. So the three that they've adopted are actually just like verbal adoptions um, and they can't take them back to the States when they go. Now this is hard because they actually left the day after we got there to go home. Due to the visas in Haiti, you have to leave the country every three months. So 
this was just a routine trip back to the States for two weeks. Now that leaves the three kids that they've adopted with the orphans in the orphanage, and that can be really rough on those kids. They uh, miss, their, miss their mom and dad. I hope they chat you cry. You made chat? What, I, when did he make you cry? I don't, he, he just, I don't know what he's talking about. I think I made him cry. <laughs> <laughs> the next day we felt some pressure to get started working on these videos. Now we really didn't get all that much footage that would help us with the videos this first day, but it was really great to get a feel for what school was like, what an average day at the orphanage looked like. Um, those were really beneficial for us. Um, so today it was just kind of a let's figure out how this thing works day. Me. You can see. Look, you can see. Uh, you can talk here. Yeah. So you you gotta talk to it. Just you talk to it right here, and then that hears you. That's the that's what that's the ears. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Just look at that. So we just filled up Steven's internet like hotspot at a net count and the, the lady there really liked twins. Yeah, so she wanted wait, twins. She wait, she how did twins. how did you say it? Jamal. Uh, Jamal. Jamal. No, that's that's girl Jamal twins. Is girl Jamal, twins. Jamal, Jamal is, is boy, boy twins. twins. To cut down coconuts, I guess. Are you hitting the head? No, I can't stand right there. And Which one's a good one? How well, do you know if it's good? It's good. They're all good. Yeah. You gonna hold it? Yeah, I'll hold it. That's so cool. Well, look at him go. Good job, Carl. And now, a completely unnecessary but cute montage of us cutting open coconuts and drinking the milk. Yeah, okay. Oh, also something that took me off guard, which I don't know if it's in this montage or not, but people hold hands here. It's just a show of friendship. It just really threw me off when little boys started grabbing my hand. But it's totally normal, I promise. Enjoy the coconut. Well, you break it's it, they break the tension. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then what you're used to? Yeah, it's just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I like it dry. Yeah, yeah. It, when it's like spongy, it's a little, it's different. Yeah. Oh. You did it, Steve. Woo. I'm gonna film it, but you've gotta do my hair. Cause I wanna see, I wanna see what you do. Give me. Oh, that's snazzy, I'd say. Yeah.
are going to go down to the market today, which is kind of terrifying, but kind of exciting too. I think Carl's going to take us. Carl's going to show us uh, the market. Are you excited? You going to show us the market? This was one of the hardest places to experience in Haiti. Um, it was one place that kind of messed me up. The market is interesting because it's... Everything is really close to each other. They all sell the same thing in the same place for the same price. And a lot of them don't understand basic economics or profit. This is where we really saw the lack of economic structure within this country, which was really disheartening. We're gonna hike up the mountain, Christine. We're gonna do it. That was crazy. We got was that crazy? We got my James, James Lee. Lee. Put your hands down. He has the biggest smile. He's the look king. at that smile. Look at the smile. Look, hey, look at the camera and smile for the camera like this. No, no. Oh, like he's getting shaky. Oh, we made it back, Steve-O. Was that crazy? Oh, that was crazy. It was crazy. We made it back home. We got kind of mobbed there when we were flying the drone, which is to be expected, but it was. Nuts. It was like what being famous feels like, I'm sure. It would get old fast. So apparently I look a lot like my brother Nate, who has been in Haiti several times. Do like that. Nate. No, you can do like that. Nate, you can do like that. I'm not Nate. You can do like I'm that. I'm not Nate. Nate. Oh. Stephen and Anna's main responsibility on the compound is discipleship. Um, they get to work with kids of all ages, but tonight we had the older kids come over um, for a Bible study and a game night. It was so much fun to just get to know them on a deeper level and just to have some fun. Who <laughs> 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 do you guys think? She's the mafia. <laughs> what? You don't know. She's the mafia. Mafia, wake up. Who do you want to kill? One of the best ways to get kids to come and like hang out with us, and not the best ways, because we're like contagious, you know, personalities. But, oh yeah. Um, also, Mark has wanted to see us fly the drone, and uh, we haven't flown with him well, yet. Well, every time, every time we fly, he's like not with us. <laughs> Flying the drone, that was fun. It always you always gather a crowd. It's that's always a good time. We are going to go get some cassa and go to a bread store, which Stephen says is some of the best bread he's ever tasted. So I'm really excited um, to do it. Ricardo, you driving? Yeah, yeah you're how driving. Long you how long have you been training? Three years old. Since you were three years old. He's, he's a pro. He's a pro. He knows how to drive these streets, unlike me. I don't know how to drive these streets at all. <laughs> Steven's coming over here with the motorcycle with Anna. It's like graham crackers. <laughs> graham crackers? Yeah, but better. But better. Mmm. 
Mmm, mmm, it's good. It's good. You like it? Really? It's got like, does that have like cinnamon? Yeah. What is? Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I think I think this is the one flat, straight road in Haiti, and so we'll, Ricardo likes to go really, really fast on it, which was fun. Woo! Woo! That was so much fun. That's good. You Thanks for it. driving. So was that fun? Yeah, we had fun. That's what the bread we got at the shop. Mmm. So good. It's and it's still warm. Yeah. Now, a successful trip. Success. Yeah. We saw how kasab. Kasab. Kasab is made. We saw how that's made, and then we saw how this kind of bread is made. Thank you. Getting rides. Yeah. to church, at a Haitian church, well the church on the compound actually, and uh, we're probably not gonna know what's going on the entire time that we're there. We also don't know when it begins or ends, so we're just gonna go. It kinda seems like how it works there, right Anna? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna go to church. <laughs> It's so funny to see how like music transcends culture and they like use what do we say hark the herald angel sing I think we we recognize that tune somewhere and uh, Like and nothing the but blood. the blood was during communion. It was crazy The hardest part of the whole thing was the sermon because we have no idea what's going on the whole time that they, they They're talking and I had two kids sleeping on me and then some random kids not from the orphanage holding my hand It was fun. It was a good time. But it was kind of fun. They had communion. I had never done that before so um yeah, that was interesting, but it was good. Full experience, though. Full experience, yeah. yeah, we got everything. You don't usually, they don't usually go to church because it doesn't really, uh... Church here. Church yeah. here at the compound, because it, it doesn't really aid your spiritual walk, because you have no idea what's going on, but... <laughs> yep, yep, we kind of, uh, just take a break normally here and listen to a sermon or... Podcast or something. Podcast or something here, and... Okay, yeah. okay, 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 ready? Okay, okay, okay. Bonjour. Let's play some hot. Who's ready? The goal is this, between right here, right up here, and right here. There. We're going this way. Okay, Joshua, now you go. So 
Sunday afternoons are pretty chill, and other than playing with the kiddos, uh, doing hockey and stuff, we pretty much just hang out. Uh, two of the girls, Fredeline and Roden Floor, decided they wanted to cook us a uh, Haitian supper. And so uh, they taught Luke and Steven and Anna all how to smash stuff up in this little thing, and it was very entertaining. Did she get any on? Yeah, oh, you're so clean. What's wrong with your neck? I slept on it wrong, and now I have a kink, a kink in my neck. They think oh, I'm funny. Smashed. You look funny. It looks pretty smashed. Sugar cane. You suck all the sugar out. You take the wood and you put it away. What kind of juice is it? Grapefruit. Grapes. Grapes juice. Grapefruit? Yes. Yeah. It looks good. That's the best man. Fridolin, what are you making? <laughs> Legume. Legume? Yeah, what but is that? Hit too hard. That looks so yummy. Boxes out. You See? After several hours of work in the kitchen, um, we actually finally finished up this meal. I wish I could remember how they said all of the words and the names for that. That's fried plantain, and that is delicious. There was a bean sauce that I, they had a specific name for this. It was like watered down. I don't know. It was so good. That smashed up vegetable stuff that Stephen was working on. So good. I don't. I can't even describe. Their food is very interesting because it's not a lot of ratios or anything like that. It's just kind of thrown together and Fredlin always tried to help us make it as vegan as possible. Luke, how was uh, supper? Two enthusiastic thumbs up. These guys are the real MVPs. Because it's so good. MVPs. You know what an MVP is? Most valuable player. You, most valuable player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, remember how I said we were filming videos for Grace Mission? Well, today, instead of vlogging, we basically just B-rolled the entire day. All the B-roll was for other videos, but it's pretty much just life at the compound. I think one of the coolest things is to see just these kids get involved in the ministries that Grace Mission offers. Other than the orphanage and the academy, there is also something called a character ministry. So this was designed by Eugene, which is the guy who runs the Grace Mission from the States. But he wrote this character journal that he gave to some guys in Haiti, and then it just kind of blew up from there. The guys took a hold of it. They write one every year, which is like a devotional. Um, they do a lot of conferences and seminars but they also do like one-on-one -on -one like discipleship which is really cool um, with the kids of the orphanage so the kids of the orphanage have uh, they learn bible verses and they they learn about godly character it is just such a powerful thing because in haiti that is so rare so i think that's why it's such an appealing thing and it's even crazier because now it's expanded so much that now they're doing seminars in the dominican people never like nothing comes out of haiti it always just comes into haiti so it's cool to see something within Haiti being expanded and now going over and helping pastors in the Dominican. It's crazy. It's so cool. Stephen and Anna have been able to use their gifts and talents in so many ways. Anna with her talent with special needs children, with Mikey or Babos, um, and Stephen with his skills in mechanics and painting. Um, the kids really look up to Steven. He helps them with their mechanics class, as well as teaching them to ride unicycles and all sorts of fun things. Steven's just really good at helping people grow. This little girl came in and had a burn and the mom had poured ink from a pen in it. So all we did, all we were able to do was to try to put mycin tracer and some Neosporin on it and then wrap it in a bandage and hope she didn't lose her arm. The sad part is if, if she doesn't lose her arm, then the mom thinks she cured it with a pen and then everyone will start using ink on wounds, which will just infect the wound. So, ooh, another cool ministry that Grace Mission does, I almost forgot about this, is the baby care ministry. So this is really cool. So for undernourished babies that come um, with their moms, they can get weighed and they'll get formula. And then when they come back the next week, they'll get more formula after being weighed again to make sure they've been given the formula. Because in Haiti, if you give someone something, you never know if it's actually making it into the mouth of the child. Um, a lot of times people will just sell it on the street, but um, that's not the purpose of this ministry. It's to give people formula for undernourished babies. So it's really a cool ministry, and I love watching these girls from the orphanage run it. It's just oh, it's such a cool thing. 
This is little Maria. Maria um, runs their first grade garden. Um, it's pretty much Maria's garden. She's the only one that really cares about it. She's growing some plantains and some banana trees. She wants to have a huge garden that supports her restaurant. She specifically likes the restaurant Lakai, which we were at earlier. Um, that, so she can have fresh farm to table products, which is unheard of in Haiti because people see farming as such a negative and poor thing. So it's really cool to see her thinking outside the box of the culture and to really see a potential business opportunity. So if you remember, we, we uh, loaded up that container a while ago out in Cap. Well, one thing that Ray said he did not want to happen is I have to unload that container at night. <laughs> it is nighttime and it's raining. Christine, it's raining pretty hard out here. No! No, it's just fine. It's a shower, shower weather. No rain. Yeah, no rain. This is the, this is the container. Up there, right over there. We gotta take it all the way around the church to the other container, slash the classroom, slash your house. Organization at its best, at its finest. Hey. Chaos. Chaos at its best. Are you gonna help unload too? Or are you just holding the umbrella? You're gonna help unload? I'm excited. Let's go. I'm gonna load this trailer. What are you doing? I'm gonna load it. You're muscle. I'm muscle. We're muscle. Not the gangsters, the muscle. The muscle. Oh. There's tons of stuff in this container, and we've unloaded it all. It's been crazy. So much help, but you can't see it. Yo, did we get unloaded? So yes, we did. Yeah, it we did. Fun. It was so fun. fun. We had so much fun. Dude, we had fun. We got it done. Yes. It was wet and cold, and it rained a lot, but we had fun. Did you have fun? All right, well, I'm gonna head back. I gotta go do some editing. This is our last full day here in Haiti. Yeah, I know. How's it weird. been? been so good. It's been so good. Our, this vlog, I feel like, has been like a little bit all over the place, but That's uh, on purpose. On purpose because we, we were working we on a lot of different projects. While we were here. Yeah, three different videos. Um, no, four. Four. Five. Five. Five with the mega vlog. This one. Five. What? So Stephen and Anna, the school oh. video, the orphanage video, and the overall Christmas video. I was Christmas not thinking video. about the yeah. Stephen and Anna video. Yeah. Oh my goodness, mind blown. Yeah, mind blown. See, I have to think about all these things. Yeah. Oh, I'm calm down. Oh yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> no. So last night we uh, we uh, filled this container from another container that we talked to this morning, and I think it's like six or seven changes of trailer. That, that all that stuff that has, all that to, stuff has to go here. from one trailer out of that trailer into another trailer into a container into another container into a third container into this container and then, then to the rooms and, and then this has to be organized now and taken to where it needs to go so with I'm using my degree of organizational development to help them organize except that your degree is in building business not building uh okay i just like to think that it has something to do with organization because that's one of my skill sets okay oh 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 Luke and Steven are gonna keep working on that uh, container job. Just have two more couches. Two more couches is all they got left, but I'm gonna edit. Yeah? Paul the rock star. Ow! You don't appreciate Paul yet. You should. Woo, let's go. Jenny and James Lee and John C. gave me these. Look. I got a whole special special artworks from the class. Thank you, I'll see you after lunch. One ministry I haven't talked about yet is the old folks home or the senior home is what the kids call it. Um, this ministry was started only a couple years ago um, and is run actually pretty much fully by Haitians um, with some oversight by um, Eugene and the mission. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. The, these old folks usually came from like poor houses and, and different things where they couldn't care for themselves or their families could no longer care for them and so the mission took them on. And it's pretty cool to see how the kids interact with these old folks and like doing their hair and just hanging out with them. 
the old folks home is actually located beneath Stephen and Anna's apartment. So we got to walk by them each day and, and tell them hello and good morning um, each morning and uh, watch them as they watch the world happen around them. This has been my house for all day pretty much. I got some interviews this afternoon, it was good. I got a lot of work done. But now we're having a party with the older kids, the seventh graders, and I'm gonna leave my cave and come hang out. I was gonna get the corn popcorn seeds out of the drain with the screw, so oh, that's what I was working that was on. Your, your I'm not a very good cook. <laughs> I'm squashing. This is the plantain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My job here is done. Your job here is done. The juice man. Juice man, <laughs> done. On our last day there, the older kids cooked us a meal to celebrate just our time there. And it was so much fun just to hang out and relax with them, eat beans and rice and fried plantains and french fries. It was so much fun. But then we followed it up with a... We're going to go have a dance party. I don't know where we're at, but we've got speakers, we got lights. It's going to be a good old time. What a way to end our trip in Haiti. It amazes me the impact that the dance has on a culture. I think that God created dance for us to just experience joy together and that did that. And I think that was a highlight of my trip. God, use these kids to transform the cultural landscape of Haiti, to be a light of the gospel, and to change the country from the inside out. We know that you are using Grace Mission to build up a generation that will change the world. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to experience life with such world changers. Yeah! Thank you!